Can you play basketball in Jordan 3s? Let's find out. So far, there's no squeak. <laughs> Jordan 3s are pretty comfortable because they're a wide shoe. They're not too narrow, but they're not super wide. They usually fit my feet perfectly. I like to wear them not playing basketball all the time. Now when jumping, you do have a little bit of cushion on the bottom, but it's not too much. There's no real ankle support, but I also like lows. So I give them a solid six out of 10. Can you wear Jordan 11s to play basketball in? Let's find out. The squeak test was around a 7 out of 10. The Jordan 11s are comfortable because they have a wideness to them, but moving laterally, I feel my foot moving, which I don't like. They are high tops, so you can tighten them to make them feel better. And jumping, there is some comfort on the bottom when you're hitting those shots that I also like. So with that in mind, I'd give the sneaker an 8 out of 10. How are the new John ja Morant 1 basketball sneakers? Let's try them out. The squeak test oh, is yeah, definitely that's what a 10 I like out of 10. To hear. These are by far the lightest sneakers I've ever put on my feet. They are a little wide so your foot slides around, but overall they're crazy lightweight. I feel like I can fly through the air if I wanted to. For the price point of $110, these may be my favorite sneakers at the moment because of how lightweight and comfortable they are, running through quick lateral movements, jumping up and down. I'm super shifty and a quick guard, so these are nothing to me. I really, really like these. I'd give these sneakers a 9 out of 10. Let's try the Nike LeBron Next Gen FaZe Clan collab basketball sneakers. The squeak test was a 7 out of 10. For them to be brand new, they weren't giving. How secure and snug my foot feels in these sneakers is amazing. These basketball sneakers are a little heavy, but but when you're landing, you feel no real impact from the floor, so it's actually really comfortable. The only thing I would say is the price point of $160 is way too expensive. The materials do seem very durable, so with all that being said, I like low tops, so I'll give these sneakers around an 8 out of 10. Should you wear Crocs to hoop in? We should all know the answer to this, but let's try them. I got the yellow Crocs on. I don't have them in sport mode yet, but they're pretty slippery. Now I'm about to put them in that sport mode. The most lightweight thing I've ever put on my feet besides slides. Look at me, getting up there. Hey, Y'all stay on. tuned for me dunking pretty soon on everybody, you hear me? Bruh. Now the grip test is a negative two out of 10. You can't really make those moves as hard as you can with a real basketball sneaker. These are for just playing around. I'm kind of going a little bit faster than you should doing these moves to the basket and stuff. You can see my foot slipping all over. Do not wear these, there are no ankle support on the crocs i had to keep wiping them because they collect dust underneath your shoe and hoopers can hoop in pretty much anything but please there's no ankle support they're not a real shoe don't play in games with these on we all know that one guy but you're not him you could really get injured and end your career playing in crocs should you play basketball in converse let's find out NBA players like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird in the 80s wore them. They look a little different now, but the high top comfort is still very solid. I really like the way they feel and tight on my foot. Now the non-slip grip on the bottom of these sneakers these is have amazing. Some crazy grip. However, then I quickly discovered moving laterally, they get a little slippery. These sneakers are super lightweight, but comfortability, they can't really compare to anything we have these days, like LeBron's or Kyrie's. The grip feels kind of solid, but it, can I hit my favorite move in? Ooh. My foot was all the way over there. My foot doesn't really move in the inside because the laces are super tight. I made sure of that so that my ankle doesn't roll, which they never did being high tops. Honestly, I would give these Converse a six out of 10. I don't fully recommend you playing in them. However, they're not terribly bad. Can you wear Air Force Ones to play basketball in? Let's find out. I know a lot of hoopers use Air Force Ones, but I've never tried it myself. So let's try them and see how they feel. Right off the bat, the grip is That's really nice. good. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. Better than a lot of my basketball sneakers that I've actually grip reviewed. Is crazy. They're not the most lightweight sneaker that I've ever put on, but they're also not super heavy like I thought they were gonna be. So, so far they're pretty good. The cushion underneath the shoe and the heel is not really existent. For comfort, I give them around a five out of 10. They're kind of wide. They're not super narrow. They're not like tight fitting on your foot like you would want a basketball sneaker to feel. So your foot moves around a little bit. It's not too bad. I definitely would wear them if I had no other option. And moving laterally on the court feels pretty good. I don't feel flimsy. I don't feel like I'm about to tweak my ankle. Overall, the sneaker's not bad. Low key, I might start hooping at Air Forces. I'm shocked. I actually like these to hoop. Let me know if you've ever worn your Air Force ones to hoop. Wow. 
Can you play basketball and Yeezy slides? And now I know y'all all wanna say yes, but you shouldn't, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's go. If you didn't know, a Yeezy slide is made out of a soft synthetic foam material that makes it feel like you're on a cloud. They're super lightweight and I thought I could dunk. Bruh. The squeak on the Yeezy slide is non-existent, but the grip so far is insane. Obviously your foot's gonna slide around as well. The more drills that I did with the Yeezy slides, I started to actually like them a little bit. Now, I wouldn't recommend, but everyone can do what they want. They're better than Crocs to me. I said it. If you didn't notice, there isn't any ankle support on these Yeezy slides. But overall, they're comfortable. Making moves at the basket is not too difficult. I got a little too comfortable doing these drills and moves that I started doing defensive slides. They were still holding up pretty strong, not gonna lie. They're pretty solid. Ha! Got he! <laughs> Honestly, that's what I get for being super confident trying to hoop in Yeezy slides. Uh, that was the end of the recording for me. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. How good are the Lamella Ball ones? Let's find out. Squeak test was pretty good. I give it an 8 out of 10. Moving laterally, everything felt solid, easy to do. The grip is really nice so you don't slide around. From the top, I personally like the way they look looking down. The cushion on these, I'd probably give a 6 out of 10. They probably could have did better. Mine don't feel super snug on my foot, so I'd say it's a little bit wide. They're not super heavy, but they're not light either. They're like in between. My first time wearing them, I did have ankle pain, so I'm not sure if the ankle part is hitting my ankle, but that was just for me. I don't know if anyone else has felt that. It only happened during my first two basketball sessions, so... Maybe once they get worn down, they don't do that anymore. I have a lot of different basketball sneakers, and I would say that these lamellos make my feet sweaty. <laughs> That's something weird that doesn't normally happen to me in basketball sneakers, but in these, my foot is super sweaty. Overall, I really like the lamello ball ones. I would give them an 8 out of 10. I love the design. I love the color purple. It's my favorite color, and the traction is pretty solid too. Let me know if I should try the new lamello ball lows. Should you wear easy foam runners to play basketball in? Let's find out. First, let's start with a squeak test. No squeak. <laughs> they got no squeak, but they're rubber, so obviously the grip is pretty good. Doing defensive slides, it felt pretty decent. It wasn't crazy great. They aren't super lightweight, though. Feels super bouncy. I might touch the net. Hey! Hey! I tipped it. <laughs> I tipped it by like this, 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 this. I promise you I just touched it, bro. I just touched the net, okay? There is some sort of foam in them, so they're comfortable. However, I wouldn't recommend wearing them because there is no ankle support. If you forgot your hoop sneakers and had no other option, these will do fine, just don't go hard. There's no real art support, they're kind of flat. They like hurt me right under, right here, when I'm going laterally and in the back. They like rub me and give me blisters. Doing these videos for you guys, I do try to go pretty hard so that I can really test out the sneakers and see if they're really good for basketball. These, my foot moved around way too much and I lost my footing a couple hey, times. Hey, hey, get it? <sighs> Overall, should you wear these easy foam runners? Absolutely not. Do people do it? Yes. But I'd give these a 4 out of 10 for basketball. Should you wear Jordan 6s to play basketball in? Let's find out. I feel like they got some real ankle support going on. Now these are beat, so the grip might not be available. But we're about to see. The squeak test was definitely an 8 out of 10. Okay! So this definitely is a narrow shoe. So I wouldn't recommend playing basketball for people with wider feet. They're not super light, but they're not super heavy either. So they're like a good mix. I felt really comfortable with the Jordan 6s, so I really put them to the test doing ladder drills, defensive slides, everything I could to really test the lateral movement. It felt pretty good, and I give it a 6 out of 10. Now making moves at the basket, step backs, all of that, knowing that these Jordan 6s are pretty beat, I was still able to do all my favorite moves. That made me actually like the Jordan 6s. If you ever thought about giving Jordan 6s a chance, you should. Not gonna lie, if the toe box wasn't cramping my big toe right here, and they fit nicely, so I think my foot's just sliding up, but I could see myself wearing these. They're actually pretty comfortable. I give them an eight out of 10. Not gonna lie, the sixes are doing it for me. How are the new Nike Sabrina Unescu ones? Let's find out. For $130, these sneakers have crazy detail on them from her logo to little Easter eggs all around the shoe. I thought this shoe was gonna be more white, but it's actually gray and I really like it. Ooh. 
These are snug. First up, we got the squeak test. These have one of the best squeak tests I've done in a while. These have to be a 9.5 out of 10. They're pretty light. The Sabrina ones are low tops like most sneakers are these days, but it wasn't a problem for me. Honestly, the shoe is super snug around my foot that making lateral movements and doing all my favorite moves was super easy and felt comfortable. They are lightweight and tight fitted. My foot didn't move around in them at all, making these moves, sharp cuts, and all the things you would normally make in a basketball game. They're solid. I'm like my... It's quick. These are very responsive. Honestly, at the price point of $130, I was not expecting this great of a sneaker and the quality of it. The last $130 sneaker I tried was the John Morant ones, and the quality does not compare to Overall, these. Overall, I give the Sabrina Unescu's an 8.5 out of 10. Should you play basketball in Vans? Let's find out. You already know we start off with the squeak test. The squeak test was around a 4.5 out of 10. Now, I don't know what I was looking for, but um, cushion maybe? There is none. If you've ever had a pair of Vans, you know how flat-footed these really are. There's no arch support, there's no cushion on the bottom. It feels like you're walking on the bare floor. But we do need to test the traction and how it feels. They are light though, I'll give them that. Making sharp cuts, the traction is there. Your foot does slide around in them because they're kind of wide. So with that, I give it a five out of 10. Landing is not fun in these. You can hear it, you can feel it. It goes from my ball of my foot into like my leg. I try to land a little softer this time. <laughs> I braced my feet before hitting the ground. It didn't feel as bad, but there's no cushion in these. My overall opinion on Vans is that you should not wear them to play basketball. There's no ankle support. There's no arch support. They're super uncomfortable wearing. The traction is there. You make great cuts. However, for the long term, your feet would brutally hurt. I don't recommend playing in Vans. And I give these shoes a 4 out of 10. My feet hurt. <laughs> How are the new Moolah Kicks Neovo Pro Lows? Let's find out. The squeak test was giving around an eight and a half out of 10. They're snug and I love that feeling on a basketball sneaker because I don't like my foot moving too much around. Here's a POV of the sneakers from the top down and the cushion on these sneakers is highlighted on the heel and ball of your foot. I give it an eight out of 10. Mula Kicks specifically customized these shoes for guards and you can tell. My foot does not slide around on the inside when making all my favorite moves to the basket. The traction is a nine out of 10. The shoes are super lightweight and feel great when making cuts and doing guard drills. I do really love the design of them and the style. I give it a 10 out of 10. I secretly want them to make an inverse colorway of this shoe so that you can mismatch with the low tops. But overall, I recommend Mula Kicks to everyone who asks me because they are my go-to sneaker at the moment. I was super excited to get the low version and these did not disappoint. They're so comfortable and overall, I give them a 9.5 out of 10.